guys and gals, never hear from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something that's what is the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you in the Let's Play episode of Lust Shards, Tate's Path. So yeah, before we jump in, I just want to let y'all know that our Patreon is not for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome awards like permanent access to our community Discord server, and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. What about you? Oh, wait a second. All right, there we go. I understand completely. What about you? Me? Yeah, did anyone get their hands in that old honey jar? Did anyone shove the string in your sewing needle yet? Popped your cherry? Glazed the donut? Okay, stop. I got it. No, I've never done it before either. Aw, that's so cute. It feels condescending. I'm literally just like you. Yeah, except that I have guys lined up to get with me. I have guys like that. I have guys that like me too. Name one. I don't want to. Heh. <laughs> Liar, liar, cats for hire. You should be more grateful to someone who saved your ass. You're right. Today you can officially say you destroyed negative one asses. <laughs> Fun! Anyway, I might not look like it, but I'm super pissed off, so I'm gonna get revenge on this plant. What do you have in mind? He teleports away. Only to come back a second later with a Molotov cocktail in hand. He lights it up and throws it at the Nightfallen's roots with no hesitation or warning. Holy shit! <laughs> yes, die! The fire makes quick work of the plant. As soon as it stops, and as soon as it stops moving, it helped Tate extinguish the rest of the flames. He brought two fire extinguishers, so it wasn't a big deal. Just a scare for me. This could have started a forest fire. Nah, Marina can just stop a, can stop a forest fire from miles away at the flick of her wrist. Wow, she's that powerful, huh? Yep, she's the complete opposite of her mom. Fire and ice, tomboy and princess. Both scary. But enough about other people. We still have things to do. Did the plant drop any crystals? Ah, forgot to check. Let's see. He searches through the ashes and digs up a small, dimly glowing crystal. It's a blue one. Kind of small, but we actually charged it a little bit, even if we, even if it didn't get to fuck me properly. Should be meh. It should be enough to get some meat for the dragon. Wyvern. My friend. We fly through the woods, keep an eye for any traps that might have been activated, and we actually spot our first catch. A hare was hanging upside down on the rope trap we set up earlier. Tate uses his sharp claws to cut the rope, letting it go free. As we mentioned before, neither of us want to kill animals. These traps are only for nightfall, and so we'll just buy meat from the market. This is my first time seeing the market, and it's huge. The hubbub is intense in this part of town. I couldn't pay much attention to all the merchants, since Tate really wanted to beeline to the meat section and get back to the wyvern. He presents the energy crystal to an exchange center and he exchanges them for money, which he uses to buy meat for the wyvern. He even got a discount on the meat for being supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Shit, can't believe I said that right. Okay. He's like, you know. Mmm. Nobody makes an effort to call me a super complicated sweet nickname. It did get me, I did get some winks from people my age, so there's that. And a lot of invitations from very friendly escorts. Way too friendly. But I have to ignore everyone and everything for the sake of my friend. We hurry back, and I'm proud to say that I'm now completely used to flying, even at high speeds. Everything is exactly as we left it. Even the sleeping wyvern is in its burrow. Remember, don't wake him up. Just store the meat somewhere cool and wait. I know how to raise my own kids, thanks. But you're right. I just want a little peek at him. He's really cute when he's asleep. Hey there, my little angel. Hello? He's not here. What? He's not here! He disappeared! He's dead! Oh god, what am I gonna do? Oh, there he is. As Tate started wailing at the sky, he sees the wyvern up in the tree. Spotting us in the food, it climbs down like a cat, falling on it on its back at the end. Not as grateful as a, not as grateful, not as graceful as a feline, are you now? Aw, oh, you're hungry, little buddy? I learned my lesson already and throw the meat. I don't want to see it coming at me. It instantly jumps at the bag and tears it open, eating every last morsel in less than two minutes. Then goes inside its burrow and coils back to sleep. Your son sleeps and eats all day. I don't think he's a great investment. He was literally born today. He'll be more active in the near future. Hopefully not in a murderous kind of active way. You are very pessim pessimistic. You can make yourself useful and tell me the time. It's 11.55 a.m. Shit! We're supposed to be there by noon! Hold on, I'll teleport us there. Hopefully I'll have enough magic to actually pass the auditions. Sorry, you wouldn't need to use so much magic if you didn't have to bring me too. 
Don't be sorry. I love hanging. I love having you with me. I do not regret bringing you around wherever I go. His words sound sincere, and frankly, I enjoyed my time around him as well. Today is a big day. In fact, today is a big day. Fact hinted by the buzz all around the arena. Voices can be heard even before we step foot inside. The peaceful background of the forest turned into a busy, loud, and lively town. Everyone is getting ready to start the practice session. Our friendly neighborhood tiger is waiting for us at the main entrance with, with two friends at, at his side, one of which is Cole. Hey, Travis. Cat. Hi, Aiden. Where's Dallin? You know, the actual important one of the friend group? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. But Dallin is getting ready to start the announcements. I'll be joining him soon. He convinced you to help? Not him, the headmaster. Dallin did ask me to greet you when you finally decide to show up. Honestly, I started to think this cat convinced you to skip your audition, or even worse, run away with him and get married in a foreign country. I should be taking notes here. Sorry, we lost track of time. Take it now. Alright. Whatever the case, he also asked me to introduce you to Rose and Cole. Although, I believe you met Cole already. We sure did. You two can take it from here. I need to get to Dallin before we start. Today's practice and auditions will be speculated by the Headmaster, for whatever reason. We heard. You four make sure not to lose track of time again. We won't. I mean, we will. I mean, we won't lose track of time. Yeah, okay. See you later, Travis. What did I get so flustered for? Phew! Finally, I thought... Finally, I thought he'd never stop talking. He's very vocal for someone so grumpy. You could say that again. Uh, since I seem to be the new bridge here, allow me to make the introductions. So, as Aiden mentioned, this lovely lady here is Rose. Pleased to meet you, fellow recommended student. Oh, excuse me. And these two troublemakers are Travis and the other recommended one, and Tate, my new shard colleague. Any climactic title, but okay. Nice to meet you. We're only missing one now. We tried to find the last guy, but we didn't have much luck. Slippery, that one. I heard he joined the Summoners. I personally found my place to the Defenders. We've heard. Uh, Dallin's very excited to have you there. You're large. Tate! You don't call people large. <laughs> it's alright. I am large, actually. I prefer the word massive. The ability to hug someone to death comes with hard work. A fun way to die. Ah, I heard you two and Cole have auditions today to join the Sorcerers. Is that right? Yep, it's gonna be much more fun than any regular practice. Uh, for you, maybe. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your device didn't come back up, did it? Nope, about two hours left. I'm gonna sit this one out, at least at the start. Tate, does that mean... Detention is back on the table, yeah. You have detention already? Man, Cole did not exaggerate the word troublemakers, huh? We're not that bad, promise. I believe you. The first impression is the most important, and so far I cannot imagine either of you doing anything worthy of detention. At least nothing malicious. It doesn't matter. I needed to get I needed to get out of detention yesterday. If I have to stay in a room for a couple hours now, it's whatever. And you'll have me for company as well. Maybe our two new friends here want to join us as well. I think I'll pass. Yeah, same here. Your loss. Did you hear that? I think my leader's starting to practice. With those ears, I'm not surprised. I believe you're right. We should get going. Yeah, Travis, I believe the auditions are held first, so we should really so we should really hurry. It's been nice meeting you, Rose, and seeing you too, and seeing you again, Cole. Good luck on the additions. And don't be a stranger around me when we meet again, alright? We both give her two thumbs up. So you know, water time. Alrighty, y'all, and we are back. Alright. Good luck on showing off in practice. We'll dedicate my victory to you. I'll see you later. We go our separate ways for now, and as soon as they leave, Tate takes my hand in his nonchalantly. I uh, didn't even notice it happening until he started to swing both our arms as we walked. Those two are weird. Why do you think that? They seem normal to me. Even more normal than anyone I've met so far, actually. That's the thing. They're too normal. The vibes are just off. He shrugs. He's probably not used to being around regular people. We find, some, we find some empty seats and wait patiently for Dallin's announcements. In the distance, I spot Marina and Ollie, standing by the edge of the arena, deep in conversation. I greeted all of my friends today, except for them. In the end, I decided to take a seat by Tate and ignore any other distractions. After all, it's him that I wanted to spend my day with. 
He turns his head towards Marina and Ollie, then to me. Huh, how come you're not even going over there to say hi? Oh, I probably should, shouldn't I? Uh, just to be polite. Nope, 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 nope! He grabs my arm as I'm about to get up. You're good. This is good. You don't always have to kiss everyone's ass. Not literally, not figuratively. You just want me for yourself. I'm bold of you to assume that. Did the confidence demon strike you? Are you saying it's not true? Hmm. No comment. Meh, who am I kidding? Yes, I want you for myself. He holds my arm even harder, resting his head on my shoulder and intentionally purring. He's so cute, I want to eat him! Finally, let's do it! Figure your speech, Scribbles. Ah. Yes, I knew that. Me too. You little cutie pie. He said that last he said that last part like it hurt. Shut up. Although I decided not to leave Tate, I will also not miss out on my leader and vice leader's greetings. They spotted us and are making their way over. Everyone gets out of Marina's way, turning their heads as she passes, Ollie right behind, having a hard time trying not to be hit by her thick tail. Hey boys! Uh, hi! Whatever you're selling, we ain't buying. Hey, be nice! Hey guys, nice to see you. I see my longtime friend got a taste of new friendship and freedom and decided to start acting up. How's your magic level? We had an unfortunate nightfall and encounter, and I had to teleport here with Travis, but I'm more than ready for whatever challenge you throw at us. I hope that's true. Come on, Ollie, let's get ready for when the real fun begins. After you, m'lady. Good luck, boys. G good luck, Travis, um, Tate. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Zoop. They walk towards the back rooms, turning more heads from the crowd along the way. Ain't gonna meddle alone around here. Isn't that just called having friends? Friends are always fake, ready to betray you at any moment. I don't think that's true. I'm a lone wolf. All I need is a mate. Oh god, he winks at me. And again. And again. I think you have something in your eye. I think so too, actually. Damn it! Need help? No, I, I think I... There, gone. Hey, you have Aiden's number, right? Yeah, why? Can you send him a message? Tell him to present me as Knox when the time comes. It's my new stage name I'm trying out. Isn't that a girl's name? Nuh-uh. It's a cool unisex name. It means thing of nightmares. I think it just means night, actually. Ah, I forgot you're a nerd. Still, cool name. I find Aiden's contact on the top of the list and write Tate's name change request. He sees it almost instantly and responds. No. Hmm. Oh, did he respond? What did he say? I shut off my phone and stuff it in my pocket. He said, if he doesn't forget. Great! Aiden has a pretty good memory. So he just can't forget the haircut I gave him when he was 18. Was that bad? Uh, bald. Oh. Yeah, I can see why. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this year's practice session. Our conversation is cut short by Dallin's loud voice. Cheers erupted throughout the place, and he continues once those die down. Is that the headmaster over there? Oh, right, he's watching us this year, I forgot. You might be happy or surprised to find out we've made some small changes to this particular session. First and foremost, I'd like to present to you Headmaster Argus, who will be watching over and assessing the students. Good afternoon, everyone. I trust we'll have a fair and entertaining practice session. I'm looking forward to seeing the amazing talents this academy has to offer. Murmurs of confusion and protest can be heard following that statement. Damn right, we should riot over this. What's so bad about it? Practice sessions were always for us, the students. Mr. Sybil came by sometime, but always stood in the crowd with us. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. You're awesome, we love you. Thank you for submitting to your ultimate tier anyway. If y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to our not safe for work content as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I shall see y'all in the next video. Bye bye